with your girl Q. How are you guys doing today? I miss you guys so much. If this is your first time visiting the channel, hello, my name is Q. I would love to have you as a part of the family. If you could go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below, turn your notifications on so that you are reminded every time I post a brand new video. I was requested to do a Olive Garden mukbang. So I decided to do it and I'm super excited. I have the four cheese, I think it's five cheese ziti. I have some lasagna. This is what the lasagna looks like. This is what the five cheese ziti looks like. I ordered myself some stuffed mushrooms. I have some breadsticks. I have a salad, a salad here, and I also have some soup. I can't remember the name of the soup right now. You guys, it smells so good. I'm not gonna waste any time. You guys already know. I am just going to dig right in. You guys, I haven't had Olive Garden in probably about 10 years. It's been a minute. It has been a minute, but I'm super excited to taste it. Mmm. I want you guys to be able to see it. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. Wow. That's good. Mmm. 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 Now, if this is your first time watching, I do burp, smack, and moan. Mm. So, if that's not going to be, if that's going to be something that you don't like, I do apologize. Mm. I'm so hungry. I love their stuffed mushrooms. And I like their stuffed mushrooms with the dressing on it. It just tastes so good when you add that dressing to it. Oh, look at that. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Yummy. Let's taste this ziti. That's pretty good. Mmm. Mmm. Yum. Mmm. Mm-hmm. So, I hope you guys are doing amazing. Let me show you guys this mushroom. Can you see it? Mmm. Mmm. So good. Next time you go to Olive Garden, definitely try your stuffed mushrooms. Mmm. This lasagna is good. Mmm. So, like I said, you guys, it's been a really long time since I had Olive Garden. And my boyfriend said that we would never go to, go to Olive Garden because he feels like it's not real Italian. And I personally disagree. It may not be lasagna, it may not be like an Italian, authentic Italian, like an, like an Italian grandma would make. Mm. 
lasagna is good. It may not be from like a mom and pop shop, but it is Italian. It might be like a commercial Italian, but it's, it's Italian. And we went to an authentic Italian restaurant last week, and it was absolutely disgusting, and I hated it. Mmm. Like so fake. 
Like, it's trying too hard to be, I don't know. And so when it was time to bring our food out, she brought everybody else's food out. Now, mind you, we went as a family. She brought everybody else's food out, served everybody else, and then looks at me and says, what are we forgetting? You're a waitress. What do you mean, what are we forgetting? Why do I have to tell you what I ordered? You brought everybody else's food, and then you ask me, what are we, what are, what are we missing? I wanted to be so passive-aggressive and smart, but I was like, you know what? I don't want to show off in front of his family, so let me just tell the woman what I ordered. And then five minutes later, she brought it out. It was absolutely disgusting. I, it was the worst. And I ordered something basic just because I was like, I don't want to do too much. I ordered spaghetti and meatballs. How can spaghetti and meatballs be bad? The sauce was terrible. I was very disappointed. That was like the worst Italian food I had. Mmm. So that's a prime example that sometimes expensive is not always better.